to here at five and we start with a shocking story. A mother tells us she was in utter disbelief after seeing video of her special needs child being beaten on a school bus. That incident captured on camera on a Littleton school district bus. The school paraprofessional you'll see in the video is facing felony charges tonight and we do want to warn you some of you might find this video hard to watch. Fox 31's Vicente Arena is joining us live from Littleton with more. Vicente. Erica, these parents telling us they knew something was terribly wrong. These parents of these kids who are nonverbal with autism started noticing that their injuries just kept getting worse and worse. The video was captured on the Littleton School District bus in March. You can see a school aide sitting next to a 10 year old boy who has autism, high support needs, and is nonverbal. Then that paraprofessional can be seen hitting, punching, and stomping on the feet of the boy whose name is Dax. The boy's mother said the repeated assaults could have been prevented. Had bus footage been routinely audited, the torture and torment of my sweet boy could have been stopped. The parents of two other children came forward as well, saying their nonverbal kids with autism had been physically abused too. The parents said they'd been asking for an investigation for months, but little was done to stop the abuse. We often have to do a lot of fact finding to try and determine sources of bruises, of illness, of injury. Last week I sat in utter disbelief as I finally watched the footage of an LPS professional brutally assaulting Dax. Attorney said the entire Littleton School District failed to protect the special needs of the students on that bus. We expect there to be long-term care needs for the children. We expect there to be long-term care needs for the families. The school district sent a letter to parents saying it is investigating and that the paraprofessional has been terminated. Kara Jones, that paraprofessional, as I mentioned, has been terminated. She was arrested and charged with a felony third degree assault. She's bonded out of jail, is now is expected to appear court in May. Reporting live in Littleton, Vicente Arenas, Fox 31. All right, Vicente, 